Hi, Caleb from Brownhouse here, and in today's tech tip, we're going to be installing the Law Tactical Wrap. Uh, so if you don't know what that is, I'll just fill you in real quick here. So it's this piece right here. It's a 1913 rail adapter, or the wrap is rail adapter plate, uh, that fits on the back of your AR-15 if and only if you're using the Law Tactical Eric. So if you're not familiar with this, the AR internal carrier, uh, this basically replaces your buffer, buffer tube, all that stuff. And before this, it was only to be used with law folding stock adapters. Uh, but for those of you who want to run a 1913 stock with your uh, law Eric, uh, now you can. So that adds even more benefits to using this particular uh, bolt carrier group. So uh, let's just kind of jump right into it here and we'll install this as well last. So what you're going to need of course is a AR-15 lower receiver. Any standard AR-15 lower receiver will work just fine. Uh, this one right here is the Aero M4E1 Pro. And uh, yeah, we'll just jump right into it. So whenever you get it, it's gonna come just like this. It's a solid chunk of steel, uh, really well made. And you have a screw in the bottom here. You just need to take that screw out. And that is going to be a driver size, uh, 5 30 seconds. So. You just loosen that guy there. That comes right out. And then the rail will then separate from the rest of the housing, just like so. And then if you've ever installed a law folding stock adapter, uh, at this point it's pretty much very similar, almost the same. Uh, but now what we need to do, uh, it also comes with this nut right here. And this is basically just gonna screw into your buffer tube or receiver extension threads on your receiver. So a standard uh, 1 3 16 by 16 thread there. So what we're going to do, and it installs like a, if you haven't installed a law folding stock adapter, it's similar to installing an AR-15 M plate. So you got to take your spring for your takedown. So your takedown pin, spring and detent, that goes into place. And now you can take the wrap and just put it on the back here, making sure you key the extruded portion into the receiver, just like so. And then the nut goes in and you screw that into your threads. And it does come with the tool, like the, the standard like law installation tool here. Um, and you can use that to turn it but I have the law armor tool, so I'm gonna use that instead. So if you're doing more than, more than one or you're an armor for you know, whatever entity, then this tool is definitely worth having. And I have oil on my hands, so I'm slipping all over the place with it here. So I'm just gonna hold this here and use my other arm. Just, just screw it on down here. All right, that's getting pretty close. So I'm just going to tighten this up. If you're using a torque wrench on it, uh, it tells you on the back here. So five to seven foot pounds, which is not a lot. So I'm just going to snug that up real good there. And then this is the very important part. This is where a lot of people mess up, or did mess up, initially when the Law Eric came out. So you have this screw here, and its only purpose is to provide tension onto that nut right there that we just installed. Now, if you over-tighten this screw, that nut is aluminum, so it'll kind of push and bend it a little bit, and that can cause your flange on your Eric to jam up. And uh, so the way I recommend installing this, this is the super easy, foolproof method, right? Just take a little bit of blue thread locker and put a little bit on the threads. That was more than a little bit. I'll just take a little off there. All right. And then you go into the hole. And I'm gonna turn it just until I feel it make contact and just give it a little snug. That's it, that's all you gotta do. 
No more, no less. And you will not have any issues doing it like that. Okay. So now, all we need to do is reinstall the rail portion. So we'll just throw that on the back there. It, it keys in so it only goes on one way. Then you take your screw. Again, if you want, you can throw a little bit more of that blue Loctite onto this screw as well. That's perfectly acceptable. And tighten that up. Okay, now we need to install the rest of the components. And to do that, all we need to do, and I also should have mentioned, obviously on the inside, you don't need a buffer retainer or spring because there's no buffer, right? So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. So the Eric installs very similar to a standard bolt carrier group. You just pull your charging handle a little bit here. Make sure your bolt is forward in the carrier and drop it all in together. But you notice this tail will want to push out the back. So this portion right here, that's your buff. Those are your buffers and this is your flange. Okay. It has a tail that curves up on the top of it. You need to make sure that is in fact facing upward and it's going to go right in that groove under your charging handle in your upper receiver. That's all it takes. So I'm just going to put my pivot pin in. All right. And then when I close my receiver, all you need to do, I'm getting oil all over myself here. All you need to do is push the flange in and close your receiver. And then push your pin back in. And you notice the flange will come into this back portion here. And that's perfectly normal. It should seat all the way back against the rail. And if you look at your actual bolt here, or bolt carrier, I should say, this pin right here should be right under that A area. If it's somewhere up here, then something in the back didn't seat right. So it should be all the way back right here. All right, and that was a... Uh, that was kind of a dead giveaway. When I remember when the Eric first came out, I was watching some um, YouTube reviews of it. And this is just sidebar now, but I was watching some YouTube, re YouTube reviews of it. People saying like, oh, it doesn't work. Well, they didn't have it seated correctly because they over tightened that screw. And when they did that, it put tension on that flange. And then this rod was actually like way up here. It was a dead giveaway that it wasn't installed correctly. Uh, but anyway, that's how you know. It's just that easy. Okay. Now you can install your favorite 19, 1913 uh, stock or brace. So uh, we have here as an example, uh, grabbed a couple of Midwest Industries because those are awesome. Uh, this is the Midwest Industries brace. The reason I know that is because it says not a stock on the back of it. So dead giveaway, it's not a stock. Um, but we will be installing the actual stock, which has a padded portion on it and this installs just like any other 1913 stock and turns out you do need to use the correct size driver okay and you just tighten it down and that's it it's ready to go super easy installation all right so that is the law tactical wrap or rail adapter plate of course only to be used with the law tactical eric Okay, so that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, comments, experience with this product, let us know down below. And as always, if you need help with anything for any reason ever, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.